Look at that. Me timing my beginning with the music. Love that. How's everyone doing? Happy Friday. Two streams in a week. Couldn't be me. Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. We are going to just wrap up this build for today, I think. It's gonna be for a client, a red, really, really gorgeous red, Hive 60. Again, the color's not like super accurate on here. So it is a lot more of like a deeper red. So it's not gonna be as bright. But uh, yeah, the the lighting doesn't do it justice. It's a really it's a really gorgeous like wine red. So I already took out all the screws of this, so I can just sort of after I solder everything, put the gaskets on, put it, everything together, keycaps, all that good stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna put it back into the uh, plastic wrap and just put it off to it this, to the side. Yeah, that weight is really really gorgeous, but gonna put it off to the side for now while I solder just to make sure that nothing happens to it while I solder all right so we're just gonna be putting the uh, tangies on to the PCB so I already put the stabs and the uh, switch pads on so it's just a matter of putting the switch or putting the uh, plate and the uh, switches into the, the PCB here so should be relatively nice yeah the the stabs ended up working out pretty well so I'm very happy with that first time using <clears throat> XHT BZD I think so that went that went very very smoothly got a heavy-duty brass plate here that we're gonna be building with so off to the side. We'll start building. All right, let me see. Spacebar. Cool. No, I don't think that we're gonna run into. I mean, I say that now. I don't think we're gonna be running into any issues with switch tolerance here because it is a brass plate. But we never know, right? So. Got everything sort of ready here. I'm probably just gonna do the same thing that I did the last time where like, I mute myself while I solder because I, I do want to have this fan going because it is kind of cold outside. Um, so I don't really want to open up a window. So yeah, we're just gonna Take it easy, do some uh, soldering today. I forget how heavy brass plates are. I wonder if it's easier to do it this way if I do like every other one, just to get it in and then I'll do the rest. are pretty straight which is good So this PCB uh, is very flexy, which I'm very happy about. So just gotta make sure all the switches are seated properly here. Now I think it'll be a little bit easier to be able to put 
this one. Yeah. Yep. I just have to make sure that the PCB stays sort of as flush as possible because there are like pretty crazy flex cuts in here. So. Should be, should be fine, doable. Sometimes what happens too is that the uh, like the little um, side pins, like the little plastic pins on the sides don't really want to cooperate. And I've noticed that when I was playing around with the uh, stabilizers, sometimes t the tolerances on the plastic pins are actually very high. And it makes it a little bit more difficult to get this into the, into the sockets, so. Wow, it would help if I close that properly. Look at that. Look at me go. Wow. Amazing. Ouch. stabbing myself on the pins so don't be surprised if you see any blood I'm just kidding I think putting the switches in her is probably like the most tedious part of this. Yeah, the PCB is starting to flex on this second row here. Just want to make sure that I'm getting these in all the way. I can hear them like trying to pop out of the plate. Yeah, I don't want to go too many at a time without checking like the back. Just to make sure that the PCB is still as flush as it could be.
Hey, Nan. Oh, did I not change that? I did change it. I changed the command. How are you doing? Oh, that kind of sucks. Happy Friday. Hmm, I did save it. I wonder why it's not... Oh, there we go. Weird. Oh well. Welcome. Like, as long as the pins are about the same height all throughout, it should be okay with the flex. Because it's gonna, yeah, like some of these could go in a little bit more, but I don't really want to force anything, you know? Yeah, like these are already like... That's interesting. I didn't know that KBD had a, um, a flexy version of, the, uh, of this PCB, so... Definitely very interesting. real quick because I know I think Nan you stream a little bit right there we go I gotta use my commands more from time to time yeah that's how I f that's how I like kind of want to be but I have just a lot of these bills that I just want to not speed through, but want to do so I can sort of focus on my other builds too. A bit more now that I'm employed. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear. Or was that like a, like a choice that... Either way, I am sorry to hear. What field do you work in if you don't mind me asking? It's a choice because work sucks. Oh, I definitely feel you on that, brother. Taking a break for a bit. Software engineering? Okay. A lot of software engineers that are in the hobby, for sure. Not sure if I want to go back right away. Might do something else. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel that burnout for from my full-time job. It's uh, not not fun. Not fun. What are you doing now, if you don't mind me asking? Or are you just uh, focusing on cube related stuff? Or Just streaming so far? Gotcha, very cool. Yeah, I'll have to try to tune into one of your streams. I haven't gotten around to it. I think I saw like your announcement a 
couple days ago, but I was working, I think. And that's like the tough part too, because like I'm always working. So I definitely feel that burnout a little bit more. Relaxing so far, building the pile of keyboards I haven't built yet. Yeah, there you go. Do something a little bit different and go back when you are ready, you know? Definitely feel that. What, uh, what boards have you built so far? And what do you have uh, coming up? And are they all personal builds, client builds? A lot of questions being thrown at you. Did a client build earlier this week, NK65, love it. Built my portal today? Hey, that's uh, one of my coming upcoming builds. I haven't lubed my switches for it yet though. Might be doing another client build soon. I love that for you. That is really cool. I'm glad to hear. How did you, uh, did you just do the regular uh, layout on your portal? Cause I've been, I've been thinking about doing mine with um, the seven U space bar and set caps. If I try to fix up my Puka macro board, was building that last week. Yeah, regular layout, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of really enjoy the seven U space bar. Maybe it's just me, but. Hot swap is 6.5 U. Oh, okay. Did you get the hot swap or did you use solder? Oh, you like the 6.25 on smaller boards? Okay, that makes sense. I guess, yeah, if you want to dedicate a lot of like layer keys, it's probably better too. Got both hot swap and solder. Oh, there you go, freedom of choice. <laughs> what color is your uh, portal? And uh, what color weight do you have? I might get a hot swap PCB, I think, for that. Cause the I have a solder PCB that I'm gonna build with a 7U. I like 7U Tangan on TKLs. Yeah. Hate when keyless, me too. Lavender. Ooh, lavender and the purple. And the uh sorry, lavender is purple. Lavender and the uh, rainbow. That's very that's a very good combination. Do they sell extra weights? I feel like they have to. Because I have a mirror finish, and I don't know if I want to get like a PVD, like the rainbow, um, like another rainbow weight just to have. They had extras, don't know if they're still available. I see. I see. Okay. I'll look into it a little bit. So I kind of want to, I kind of want to maybe get a rainbow weight for it, just like for fun. But the mirror, the mirror finish, I, I really like it is really, really bright. Yeah, I kind of want to get a mirror finish. Hey, you want to trade? <laughs> I don't know if you were here yesterday, but um, I haven't taken mine out of, I took mine out of the box just to show chat, um, but I'll pull it out for you if you want to take a look. The mirror finish is very, very nice. Let me see. But yeah, if they're still doing extras, because I want to maybe get another O-ring too, just to see the different um, types of springiness that it offers, I guess. Um, They're doing a lot of pre-orders for full kits. Oh, interesting. 
Yeah, I guess I, I don't remember the announcement, but the um, are they looking to make this like an in stock? Well, maybe not an in stock, but like a less limited run, I guess. Got the lighter O ring. I got the blue O ring. I don't know what weight that is. I think yellow is the lighter one. Don't know if I can even feel the o-ring when I type. Oh, okay, so maybe that doesn't really make a difference then. Oops. Oh, both o-rings are blue? Oh, okay. One is dark blue, one is light blue. Um, I guess mine is kind of a dark blue? I can't really tell. There's like, I can't really compare it to anything. Yellow got switched to light blue, I see. Okay. I hope this fits. It should fit. Nice. Dark blue is default? Okay. Then I got whatever default it is. Oh, did you use the silicone or did you get that silicone um, sheet? And what did you do with it? Because the adhesive is on the opposite side, which makes me think it's like a like a Tempest mod almost. So I don't know if that's I don't know if that was like the way to go because I didn't do anything. Put the circle on the bottom. Okay. Yellow is thirty A, dark blue is forty A. I probably got the forty A one then. If I I don't know, I'll take it out and I'll show you in a little bit here put the silicone on the bottom, but did you peel off like the adhesive? Oh, it is meant to be like tape mod or just case foam, so you can do either, I see. Okay, so I'll just leave it on the bottom and not have to worry about peeling the adhesive off then. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know, it's just nicer to get like perspective too from someone that's built one, you know? No, because it only goes one way, yes. Correct. The, yeah, the one that I have, the adhesive is facing, the adhesive is facing the PCB. Adhesive only goes on the back of the PCB, not the case. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so I was, I was just wondering if it's even worth it. I'll probably just leave it on the back of the, or just leave it in the case and not do, just not worry about the adhesive. All right, let's see. Everything looks pretty flush to me. Yeah, and want to stick mine? Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. I think we're ready to solder this bad boy. It's really just doing a final check to see if these are flush or not. Alu plate? I have the FR4 plate. FR4. Hopefully it won't give me too much trouble. Like the Freebird FR4 did. Because that one was a pain. Quite literally. Glizzo is still making his way through orders and stuff, so extra should probably be available in a few weeks. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that then. See if I can grab a hot swap uh, PCB just for like, just for fun. Cause I got like, I got whipped creams for it. And since they don't, they're not really great with, um, they're not really great with, uh, I guess cream switches. Cause the pins are larger. So I figured I'll just solder. I heard some stuff in the Discord about the FR4 and direct sub and it being a tight fit. Ooh. Hmm. I haven't. Okay, so I haven't assembled anything at all. And I haven't tried putting the FR4 plate on yet. Um, but I do have Duroc stabs installed. So I know TX stabs restock in a couple of days. According to Makibo, it's like this weekend. It's like tomorrow. So I might try to snag a set of TX stabs and try those. Actually. Um, because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Duroc. 
just the amount of modding that I have to do to it is probably going to be really annoying, but you got to work with what you have. That's interesting, though. I'll, I'll take a look. Um, after I get everything set up here, I'll take the box apart and take a look. I have a few TX stabs on me and Stabies. Oh, cool. Oh, Sunday. Yes. Hi, Kuro. Though they'll probably be in, only in stock for about 30 seconds. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Durak requires a lot of modding. Yes, they do. Yeah, Makiba is restocking this weekend. I don't know when Keeps for All is, is going to be doing a sale. But they're doing in stock and pre-orders. I use lavender stabs from Cannon Keys to go with my lavender switches. Very purple build. I would like to see said build. Is it on your Instagram? If it is, I will go check it out because my phone is my camera right now, so I can't really, can't really uh, check. Oh, the pre-order ship in May. Uh, no, I want it now. Might have posted it to your stories. Okay. Yeah, I need. I probably should like highlight my stories. I, like, I barely post on my personal Instagram. Who's to say that I'm going to be able to manage this Instagram? Take pics of it later? Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, the lavender looks really, really nice. Uh, but I got the dark blue, dark blue, the dark gray variant with the uh, mirror finish, so. Kind of like the way that it looks. I've, I've never owned like a dark gray board, so very interested. Very interesting to see what keycaps will go good on it. Oops. <gasps> Earthquake! I'm kidding. I'm gonna make sure that these are all, because the flexi PCB isn't really super helpful okay let's see Everything looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and solder. Everything is sitting correctly, yes. Do a couple of checks. Okay, cool. Let's see. So the stock switches. Put that back in there. Friday night, so a little bit of Stella. Cheers. All right, let's get this baby heated up. All right. So close to affiliate. Ooh, I love that. Wait, I don't even follow you, I don't think. Am I terrible? I think I'm terrible. Oh my God. Let me hit you up with that sweet follow. You think you hit affiliate? You're the worst, I know, I'm literally terrible. Please don't hate me. Yeah, I'm the worst person in, in existence. I'm so sorry. How dare I? Did you? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you get the email? I almost just touched the soldering pen. Okay. Go three forty. Yeah, I truly am the worst. Okay. Wait for this to heat up. Oh god, I just already almost burned myself again. No email yet. I'll check tomorrow. Okay. That is very exciting. Congrats if you did, and if you didn't, you will soon. I promise. 
Alright. I'm gonna be muted on and off, so just bear with me while I do this, please. My, uh, mic isn't good enough to filter out noise like this yet, so. Just bear with me, please. Alright, I'm also gonna move, maybe, a little bit. I'm gonna be moving a little bit closer to the, to my desk, so. Might have to change a few things up. Okay. Alright. I'll do a couple of rows and I'll turn this back on and we'll uh, go from there. Cool. Hi Fuzz, sorry this is really loud. Thank you. 
Hello. Hi. Welcome in. I uh, I just soldered the first row, and I had to turn the mic off because the fan is stupid loud. So. keep soldering away so I like bumped the camera a couple of times with my big head trying to lean in so all right BRB
Okay. Two rows. Done. Yeah, the ones with like the enlarged holes are always a little bit difficult because I don't want the solder to like bleed through. But there's really not much I can do because like this PCB supports so many different formats that it's just gonna, it's inevitable, you know? Okay, bear with me. We've got a couple more to go, guys.
Hey, Sai. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm just soldering and I wanted to mute myself because the fan is really loud. Um, but hi, welcome. I'm like almost done, so just bear with me for another couple of minutes and I'll be sort of back up and running.
All right. Cool. That went well. Okay, cool. So I'm going to name this up. We're going to plug it in. We're going to see if everything works, which hopefully it should. I mean, there could be one or two switches that are like, Bruh, I don't want to work. But we'll see. We'll take a look. See. Ah, okay. That's on my end, also. All right, moment of truth, guys. <gasps> Look at the lights. Wow. Pretty. All right. Let's listen to the sweet, sweet sounds. Here we go. <gasps> Guys, it works! we did it ah amazing all right I'm gonna turn this off let this slowly oh guys we did it that's me again look at that look at that guys we did it we did it guys oh I'm so happy Okay, now we get to put this thing together. One, one desolder pump for... There we go. That's almost like a popping a bottle of champagne. Very cool. Alright, I'm going to put this away. Yay! Yes! Yay! It works! Amazing! Alright. Good job. Aw, oh, thank you. I certainly try my best. Alright. Thank you for the stretch. Oh, my body. <sighs> Feeling like a glow stick. Alright, so we'll do the gaskets first. And then we will... Assemble the board. Tangies? Yes. Yeah, these one the one these were the ones that we worked on uh, actually two days ago? Or no, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. No, put the little feetsies on. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Very, very happy. Yesterday, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of gaskets here, so. One, two, three on both sides here. And it's one, two, three for the bottom here. And then we can't forget about the little feetsies. Oh, I'm shaking because I'm so excited. Should have put the gaskets on before, but uh, oh well.
Some of these aren't cut like super precisely, but that's okay. I mean, you're never gonna see this. So as long as it's there, it's doing its job. Hey Siri, stop. I'm so excited. The video is lagging a little bit, I can Five tell. Minutes. It's on. Sai, how are you feeling? How are your eyes? Hopefully you were able to get a good night's sleep. That really was worse after you woke up. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear. Hope tomorrow's better. Yeah, I hope tomorrow's better for you too. Oh, I'm sorry. really sucky. Sorry. get better so no cool pirate eye patch for me Aww. would have been fun though wait did i want to take out five okay i guess so you should still get one though just for like the air of mystery you know you come watch me build keyboard would be awesome saw one once those thick leather and engraved with vines okay very mysterious very piratey I love that You just go for it. I'm good. I'm always here to watch. Aw, oh, thanks. Thank you for the support.
Good, good, good. Cool. Gaskets are on. Nice and snug. Cool. <gasps> ah, we're getting so close. Okay. Put the little feetsies on. Do a little assemble. A little bit of assemble. Should be good to go. Some foam for the uh, case. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I you have no idea how excited I am for this. Baby? Yes. She's laying on her tiny little perch. Oh, she's so cute. Oh Manny! Thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you. I appreciate you. Your streams are one of my favorites. Aw, Sai, si, don't say that. You're gonna make me cry. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Manny. Trying to like minimize how much I touch the uh, brass here. Oh, this is upside down. Whoopsie. Just make sure the bezels are all correct. In five. Okay. Do you want um butter on the naan or just regular? Mm, butter would be nice. Actually, I'm gonna flip this upside down too because if I did this the wrong way, then I just don't want there to be any weird like discrepancies. Okay, that should be the right way now. A little hive thing up top. Close this bad boy up. Oh, this is going to be very difficult to put back together, I feel like. Hmm, okay. This is interesting. I guess I could just, like, wing it. Wouldn't that be nice if I just winged it? I'm kidding. I'm kidding! I would not do that. Everything is like flush, which is not my favorite because like you never know if it's like correct, you know. Okay, so that has the middle part. Okay. It's one corner kind of in, feels like. Sure you wouldn't. No, don't worry. Ooh. Yeah, I think it'll line up by itself as soon as I have a couple screws in. There we go. I'm gonna put everything else in and then I'll make sure that everything is up to spec here. Yeah. So 
to make sure everything else is in correctly. Pretty weight on the back, yeah, the weight is really, really nice. Also, look at how long these screws are. Long boys. Jesus. Hello? Yeah, the base is really deep. Interesting. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Girlfriend was over, so the stream was visuals only. Okay, no worries. All good. I'm just, uh, tightening the screws now. And then I'm gonna put the feet on. Put the caps on. Do a little typey type. Oh god. Alright. Wow. 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 Alright. Keycaps. We got a IFK Polish. Polish polish? Is it polish? It's polish, isn't it? Because it's black and white, it's it's polish. I got it. Oh no. Reminds me a bit of an Iron Man theme. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, it actually, the orange is like a little bit too intense, but I can totally see the Iron Man working out. Oh, but yeah, the brass. Ooh, the brass on this red is really, really nice. There's a good amount of flex. Alright.
Yeah, I don't think you're gonna see the lighting, the underglow at all. I mean, you might like a little bit because the keycaps are translucent, but it's all down, like, like down firing, so. Definitely clacky. Which was the goal, so. I kind of like the big, like, bold letters of this set. Like, it's definitely bolder than, like, a, like an EPBT set. Yeah, there's like basically no rattle. It's very minimal, if that. Okay. Hello? My music is freaking out. All right. I still have my headphones on, so I'm not hearing this like in like it's true. <laughs> Ooh, the box farted. It farted. All right, wow. Yeah, my frames are dropping a little bit, so. Look at that. Oh, this thing is heavy. That is really gorgeous. That is really, really nice. All right, let me see if I can bring the mic down a little bit. Very pretty, thank you. I mean, there's no rattling noise at all. Ooh, that enter is very nice. Oh, the music. I was like, I'll do a monkey type, and then I realized that it's not plugged in.
I mean, you can always take out the foam too. That's in here, and sort of get more of like a like a reverb type. But yeah, this is the build. Oh, I'm very happy. I like it very much. Me too. I kind of want to keep it. So this is fun. So I'm just going to keep this. And uh, yeah. Easy. No, I'm kidding. I don't like 60% because I need my arrow keys. But yeah. A fun little, fun short little build stream. <laughs> you deserve it now. I have my portal. I'm going to, I'm going to build my portal soon so I'm gonna see if I can get this wrapped up for you sort of in this big sort of like setup so you can just take it out plug it in um, I didn't mess with any of the key maps or anything like that so you get used to a 60 yeah but like I really like my arrow keys because I, I use it a lot But yeah, I will get this, I'll get this all wrapped up and and padded and everything and I'll send this back to you. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna take a lot of photos of this first. Do a little, do a little sound test maybe and uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, this is the high 60. Yeah, the, the red is, the red is gorgeous. It really is like very Iron Man. Thanks so much, I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, anytime. No problem. Sorry for so many questions, too. I just want to make sure that, like, everything is, like, working out for you. You know, like, it's exactly to how you want it. That accent is really nice. Yeah. And, like, I like that everything is just, like, flush. I think it's also, like, the lighting that's making it a little bit. That's like a little bit, yeah. But yeah, that that brass, oh, very nice. Brass is very nice. Yeah, this back weight is really, really pretty too. But yeah, I'm gonna get this ready to travel and get this over. Cool, um, let's see who's live because I do want to eat because I'm hungus. I am Hungus. Hungus Amogus. Because they think I don't have. Oops. Enjoy dinner? Thank you, I will. I'll just throw this over to someone that we haven't raided before. Now I can eat in peace. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Alex is live. Tomato, Mr. Tomato, Tomato. Was nice till next time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, feel better. I'm sorry that your eyes are boring. Just take them out. You don't have to deal with it. Easy. Cool. Let's go say hi to Danny. All right, let's go say hi to Danny. Um, this was kind of a short little, short little stream. So we'll go over, say hi, hang out for a little bit, but you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.